What's up everybody? Man Cave Dave here in Wisconsin. Another video game pickups video. Today is Monday, February 18th. This is a bunch of stuff that my son and I picked up over the weekend. And uh, it's kind of a mixed bag here. Some of the stuff I was very excited about. Some of it I was very excited at first and then less excited once I actually saw the stuff. But uh, anyway, I figured I would share and you all can see and tell me what you think. And there's Milo. Hi Milo. Apparently it's bath time. Anyway... So, let's see, where to start? I guess I'll start with this because it's kind of in the way. went to a uh, resale store um, that I like to go into now and then because even though they're very expensive, they have just a lot of cool stuff. They have a couple of booths there that are just um, strategically, or, or not strategically, but uh, uh, they're just dedicated old toys. G.I. Joe, He-Man, uh, even they had a RoboCop car in RoboCop last time I was there. So uh, I saw this stuff, and I had to pick it up. I really hope I didn't get totally lambasted on it, but uh, it was one of those things that I, I got, and I was all excited about I paid 35 bucks for it, which is fairly expensive, but unfortunately I didn't have all the parts, and I didn't realize that until I got home and opened it up. So it's a laser tag set. It's got two of the zapper guns. It's got the star base. Let's see here. Oops. Star base... I'm not sure if this keeps score or what this does. It's got the game rules. Oh, and the story. That's fun. And then the box. box is in really rough shape. Um, doesn't have any of the packing, but uh, it's just really cool to see. Um, and it doesn't have any of the sensors, so I need to find some of those still. But I remember this game as a kid. And, uh, you know, seeing the boxes and just wanting it so bad. And having some friends that had it and uh, going over to play it with them. You can hear the laundry in the background. The washing machine sounds like it's about ready to take orbit. Must mean that it's almost done. Uh, the other thing that I found, which I just dropped on the floor, is this uh, story record, Masters of the Universe. I was just listening to it, actually, with my son. Um, and unfortunately, it doesn't have the theme from the TV show, which I thought it did. The voices aren't all the same. But it's still pretty fun. And... Uh, in fact, it's kind of floppy because the record's actually still in the record player. What one is this from? Actually, don't see a year on it, but uh, it's in really good shape. The artwork is fantastic, so if nothing else, I'll stick it in a frame and put it up on the wall. So I was excited to find that. Probably my best find was this stuff right here, which there's this tape to it old video games, 15 bucks all. And so I opened it up. It's kind of a mix of Intellivision and um, Atari 2600 and even an NES game. But uh, anyway, so looking through the games, we got Up and Down, which is a little bit more rare Atari 2600 game. Grand Prix. Burger Time for the Atari 2600. Burger Time is just a big game for whatever system. Squeeze Box. I never had that one before. Tank Plus. It's about a five or six dollar game from Sears. Word Zapper. Mountain King. Frogger. Such a great game. Journey Escape. Pitfall 2 Lost Caverns. This is actually a $10 to $15 game, so that was definitely a good good one to add to the uh, the collection that I didn't have. Reactor, and some kind of cool artwork on it. Hmm, name this game. Interesting. Breakout. Uh, lock and Chase. Some television games. We got Microsurgeon, Kool Aid Man, which is awesome, and uh, another Burger Time, Astro Blast for the Atari. Come back to that stuff. We got Demon Attack for the Atari, Frogs and Flies for the Atari, Astro Blast, another Astro Blast, uh, Sky Jinx. And Laser Blast. I remember playing this as a kid. Um, oh, another Frogger that the label just came off. 
And we got Cubert, Atlantis, Cosmic Arc. This is one of my dad's favorite games. I remember playing this a lot growing up. It's a fun one. Demon Attack, Riddle of the Sphinx, Night Driver, Skiing, Keystone Capers. Gosh, you're so loud. We got Wizard of War uh, manual. Warranty card for the Atari. Asteroids manual. I remember looking at this when I was a kid. Just the, the artwork's really cool in these. But uh, all the games you could get for the Atari, Atari catalog. Missile Command. Frogger. And television booklet, which is kind of cool because I have an Intellivision in a really crappy um, box. So I can add this to that. Another Intellivision Bomb Squad. Atari 5200 ad. Donkey Kong. I guess, yeah, manual for the Intellivision. Yars Revenge. It's like a little comic. That's kind of neat. Uh, and then this stuff also came with it. So, from for Nintendo, Vindicators, Intellivision, Las Vegas Poker and Blackjack in the box. Kind of a rough box copy of Pole Position 2 for the 7800. You can see it's got a big dent, it's crushed. Television manual, or the catalog. And a really nice copy of Pitfall for the Intellivision. The box is in really great shape. So, uh, 15 bucks for all of that, that whole stack of games, I was pretty impressed with. And um, there's definitely some games in there that are worth 10, 15, um, even 5 bucks. So, that was pretty cool. This stack here was one I was really excited about. And then I got it and went through it and was decidedly less excited about it. So, it was a Craigslist ad, just said, you know, I have all these Super Nintendo games, some of them in the box. You know, make me an offer. So, talked with the person, they told me what they had, they're like, oh, there's a bunch in the box, the boxes are in really great shape, um, kind of looked up prices, um, you know, went, it didn't go, didn't go half of what they were worth, but I offered, um, 70, and, um, from what they were worth, from what they were telling me, it was worth about 120 or so, and, uh, yeah, not quite what I was hoping, but anyway, here's what we got, Mad 96, Shanghai 2 Dragon's Eye, which I didn't have. I'm not sure how much that one's worth. A sticker on the back, but that's okay. Super Star Wars, fun game, not worth a lot, but a lot of fun. SimCity, and in the box, Rise of the Robots. And the boxes, they're okay. You know, not great, not mint by any measure, but they're okay. What I was so bummed about, though, is that a lot of them are these rental. Or a couple of them are, anyway. And so, you know, the... The rental folks would take the box and cut it up and then slide it in here. So technically, yeah, it's a box, but it's for a collector, it's pretty much worthless. Oh well. We got Animaniacs, Spider-Man X-Men Arcade's Revenge. This was the big one that I was so sad about. I was really excited to find Blazon, the Bio Cyborg Challenge, in the box. And, yeah, it's a rental box. And so... It's basically, you know, the box is destroyed, but oh well. World Cup USA 94, <laughs> Shaq Fu. Uh, the video game sellers are cringing right now if they're, any of the guys are watching this. But, uh, ah, Shaq Fu. And the Lawnmower Man. So, yeah, not, uh, not great. Very disappointed on this one. But, you know, I, I didn't have a lot of the games... This is kind of the, these are the only games that I have in the box for uh, Super Nintendo, which I mean, there's some good ones there, Ninja Gaiden Trilogy, um, you know, Zelda, Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG, but, um, you know, I was hoping for, for a few more quality ones, but, oh well, that's okay. So, anyway, this whole stack, 70, 15 for that, 85, um, got this stack of games here at the same store that I got the He-Man record and the uh, laser tag stuff, so just a couple of bucks. Nemesis, um, this isn't worth a whole lot, but it just look kind of fun. There's a spaceship, and I figured I'd give it a try. Rock and Roll Racing, this was only 10 bucks, and this is like a $25 game. Unfortunately, you can see it has some sticker residue that might have damaged the label. 
Um, but uh, 10 bucks, I figured I'd give it a shot. And there's some damage on the back. But I can replace the back, find one that has the same number on it, and replace it. So that was cool. Um, this was exciting. King Kong for the Atari 2600. This is also 10, and it goes for 15 or 20, but uh, really cool looking game, cool artwork, so I'll definitely add that one to my collection. Moon Patrol, I remember buying this for the 2600 for, I don't know, probably $15 at Meyer Thrifty Acres. It was when Nintendo was coming up and Atari was fading out, so it was one of my favorite games. Um, so I didn't have it for the 5200. Um, labels got some crusty on it. Um, but uh, I'll clean it up and you know give it a shot. Really like that game. Uh, River Raid for the 5200. Uh, I think I paid like three bucks for this, and that's a pretty good deal for it. Um, and then we got Storm Lord. I was really bummed because the uh, the vendors at the store where I got these they put the tape right across the labels, and uh, when you take it up to the front, the lady just takes the price tags off. And so she just kind of ripped them off, and I'm like, you know, you're you're kind of ruining the game there. She's like, what? I got to get this off. I'm like, well, here, uh, I can do that. So um, anyway, I was kind of bummed because she totally ripped this off. She did give me a dollar off because I was like, you know, that really hurts the value on it. But uh, if you own a thrift store, an antique store, you think you think about that kind of stuff. But oh well. Uh, Shadow Squadrons for the 32x. That was a three dollar game. Didn't have that one. Uh, Bust a Move 2, you can see back here where they ripped the tape off on all of these two, and luckily it's just the back labels, but still, I was very disappointed in them. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie, again, the tape, and Super Punch-Out, this is another one they only wanted 7 bucks for, so um, it's gone down in price a little bit, it was a $20, $25 game, I think it's maybe about 15 right now, but still, for 7 bucks, I'd definitely pick that up. And, uh... Adventures of Dino Riki. I couldn't find my copy of this, so I think this is a couple bucks, so I went ahead and picked it up too. Um, then another shop we went to had some Atari 5200 games I didn't have. I think they were about four bucks a piece. Uh, pole Position with the manual, Frogger with the manual, uh, Real Sports Football with the manual. Um, yes, yeah, so I picked up those three. And then some movies that looked interesting. These were like 50 cents a piece. We got Flashpoint. <laughs> raw deal. The system gave him a raw deal. Nobody gives him a raw deal. So, uh, any of these old cheesy Schwarzenegger movies. 86, yeah, that sounds about right. I remember seeing these posters at the movie store when I'd go there as a kid. So, uh, it's kind of fun to watch them. And then Porky's 2 the next day. This one, I guess, was a dollar. So, um, these 80s, late 70s, early 80s, this was 84 comedies I enjoy. So, um, we got a box or a, a bag rather of random, <laughs> there's Vanna Waits cleavage, um, random inserts for games. This was two bucks. So, I went ahead and picked it up as I worked to complete my box sets. Um, they're always missing these inserts. And then, Nintendo Power I paid 50 cents for, and this, Gremlins, we got Stripe, this was also, I think, 50 cents, and so, it'd be a fun wall hanger, as soon as I can find some wall space. So, some of the stuff was a little disappointing once I actually saw what it was, but uh, overall, it was a, a good hunt, and my son had fun, and I had fun hanging out with him, so, that's the important part. Anyway, from here in Wisconsin, this is Man Cave Dave, hope you all enjoyed, we'll see you all at the next sale. Take care.